what you're trying to do is find the shad and then be in a place where you know you, you're going to get around the most bass possible they're done spawning shad are starting to spawn so they're out here feeding up on them and it's some of the best action of the whole year is when you get on that shad spawn bite and cedar trees it's kind of like docks are very good for it particularly styrofoam docks marinas things like that but lakes that have these cedar trees like this on these points those shad get up there and look like they're lapping them just like they do when they're on docks you know i, I see them on the ends of docks and you know long stretches of docks where they're running up and down those docks spawning well they do the same thing on these cedar trees they'll get out here on these flat points at the mouths of these pockets you know april and may when water temperature gets right the shad are never on the bottom when they're spawning so the bass are suspended these cedar trees have a lot of limbs which attract the shad and then it gives the bass a lot of ambush points too so i see them getting around these cedar trees and and ambushing the shad and it's usually on these flat points the mouths of little spawning pockets where the water's say six to ten foot deep but you're fishing something like a spinnerbait a swim jig i like a swim jig for it because you can skip it you can get it in tight places a uh, real good landing ratio when you do get a bite and then something that imitates a shad well so it's a bait i like for this this technique and uh you know these these places like this you're just efficient with a swim jig because you can get it on both sides of the tree let it fall down in the limbs flip it up next to the tree uh, it's a little bit more versatile than a spinner bait which is the other bait that's really good for this so i like both of those and uh i like the to just try to target those flat points six to ten foot of water uh, look for stuff that you know maybe gets a little bit more overlooked so among these cedar trees what i like the best is the ones that i'd call the bushiest ones or the ones with the most limbs on them uh you know we have some here that are really i mean this lake's aging so you're getting some that the limbs are broken off of those trees weren't as mature and then as you look down through the stretch this one's probably got a lot of limbs down underwater because it's got a few sticking up here and then the one to the left of it there it's kind of a, really probably actually a group of cedar trees together but anything that has more mass like that has been better for me uh, i think it's a couple of things first of all i think the shad like it better because there's more matter underwater for them to get around more limbs more algae on the trunks and then for the bass obviously it allows them more ambush points so it gives you something you know for both both items here for both both parts of the equation from the from the shad to the bass so it gives you a lot of targets too so i've actually seen this where if the shad are really good on a tree like this one where it has two or three trunks and a lot of little limbs where you might catch a uh, really a school of fish or a little wolf pack of fish in there you you know you catch three or four nice fish out of one tree because the shad are using that tree a lot and that wolf pack's got in there ambushing them so it it uh it gives you a lot of opportunity